Welcome to the World of Tennis, presented by BNP Paribas. The scoop from inside and outside the lines. You'll be center court for some of the most insightful and entertaining stories from around the globe. Through the wit and wisdom of our host, Justin Gimmelstab, World of Tennis will take you inside the training room with Dr. VJ Vod, a physician for many ATP players and one of America's most respected doctors. You'll get the best read on the tours with Tennis Magazine in our weekly roundtable. And exclusive lessons from the legend with eight Grand Slams under his belt, Yvonne Lendl. Watch all this and more coming up right now on the World of Tennis, presented by BNP Paribas. Welcome to the World of Tennis presented by BNP Paribas. I'm Justin Gimmelstab, and in today's show, we're gonna spend some time with some of the best tennis players in the world. We're also gonna to bring to a close the 2010 BNP Paribas Showdown, where Venus Williams took on Kim Kleisters in the final. We're also gonna commemorate Ivan Lendl's first US Open title 25 years ago, beating John McEnroe. All that and more on the World of Tennis. Watch the events you missed as we look back at this year's tennis events. Brought to you by Wilson, number one in tennis. 25 years ago, Ivan Lendl won his first US Open championship. Lendl had made it to six Grand Slam finals before finally breaking through when he beat John McEnroe in the finals of the 1984 French Open. Ivan Lendl has finally won a Grand Slam championship. I think there's a huge amount of frustration after that match for John. It was just an up and down, incredible match. And I think that he, at that point, just felt, my God, I don't know if I can beat this guy. I happened to get lucky and win it, and uh, it was great. It was my first major, but uh, I think it changed how people looked at me. Later that year, McEnroe took revenge at the U.S. Open and beat Lendl in straight sets. Lendl's mishaps continued when he failed to defend his 84 French Open championship, losing to Mats Wielander. It's Wielander taking the seventh game. Those were the two best players. Well, those were. Those were high pressure, intense matches. I don't believe what's happening today. It was, I don't believe what is happening today. Yvonne was somebody I, can, I could understand the way he played tennis. I could understand his mentality being from, from Europe and, and the way his, his demeanor on court. So it, it became a chess game. And Mats is such an easygoing guy. That's, you know, you, you never want to lose, but. Uh, but he's easier to lose to than some other guys. He's a scary opponent because he could really play well, like he could kick your butt. Uh, and I couldn't do the same to him, I could beat him. But uh, so it, was, it was up to him most of the times. If he had a great day, I was in trouble. Now Lendl had to prepare for yet another Grand Slam, the 1985 US Open Final against his main rival, John McEnroe. But Vaughn really wasn't that popular to the crowd that loved the McEnroe's and the Connors and that type of antics. I mean, Yvonne was one focused guy. You know, he's, he's a black and white dude, you know? You're not, gonna, you're not gonna get in between them. John was John. Yeah. <laughs> he could go somewhere else when he was on court. He could lose, uh, completely lose control of himself. Lendl was victorious, beating McEnroe in three straight sets, 7-6, 6-3, 6-4. He began his reign as the world number one player and held it for 270 weeks. I just sort of remember that domination. It was like power against grace and the power won. And it just sustained that for the next five years and he just dominated the sport. Any athlete of that ilk who sees themselves as a potential world champion is driven. He was focused in addition to being driven. And that's why he stood number one for so long and why he, he won so many events and why he played so many finals. The 1985 U.S. Open was a turning point. John McEnroe would never play in the U.S. Open final again. He would reach the semifinals only three more times. At the level of play that McEnroe and Borg and Connors and Lendl and Villander played the game, when you, when you lose that edge, when you're, when you're number 10 in the world instead of being number one, you know, there becomes a certain frustration that you're never ever going to get that back. I just remember there was a turning point in, in that career. Macro sort of stayed the same and Lendl just got better and better and became more confident and just sort of overpower these guys. Whereas Ivan Lendl would reach the US Open Finals for a total of eight consecutive years and was the reigning champion from 1985 to 1987. You need the whole package, you need to have the game, you need the heart and you need the mind. You know, Ivan had it. You know, he had the 
great game. His heart was strong, his mentally he was strong. Um, those are the guys that are going to win seven, eight, nine, ten majors. While the 1984 French Open was the turning point of Yvonne Lendl's career, the 1985 U.S. Open confirmed his greatness and announced his dominance. Let's get it straight. Ivan Lendl is a great player. He stayed at number one way longer than most people remember. He won eight majors. He made the Wimbledon final three times. He won 64 titles on every surface. He played in the era when tennis was at his best. So he's definitely up there as one of the greatest players of all time. This Look Back segment was brought to you by Wilson, number one in tennis. For more information, go to Wilson.com. One of the most important shots in tennis is the passing shot. In order to offset the attacking players, you need to be precise and powerful. And that's why it's so appropriate that we have on this week's Yvonne Lendl's tennis tip, the passing shot. Lendl, one of the greatest passers in tennis history. You better listen up. Tennis Tips from Yvonne Lendl is brought to you by the Champions Academy. To me, a tennis match is like a puzzle made up of different shots. You need to work on all the pieces of the puzzle in order to control the point, which is the key to the game. Only then can you let the pieces gel together and complete the puzzle to win the match. Hi, I'm Ivan Lendl and today we're going to work on our passing shots. The key to a passing shot is to obviously pass the opponent. When you get attacked by your opponent many times, you're not in position to pass him on the first shot. Sometimes you're out of position, sometimes the ball comes too low. So the way to do it is hit a shot, which gets him in a little bit of trouble and gets him to volley up. So if I can hit maybe a little back and slice or heavy top spin under his feet, he will volley up and hopefully I get a chance to pass him on the next shot. If uh, you go for passing shots, winners on the first shot, you're going to make too many errors. Tennis Tips from Yvonne Lendl is brought to you by the Champions Academy, where greatness happens. For more information, visit champacademy.com. Coming up, we hear from tennis star Thomas Burdich, and later, this year's BNP Paribas Showdown. We'll give you the highlights on the finals with Venus Williams and Kim Kleisters. The World of Tennis, presented by BNP Paribas, is brought to you by BNP Paribas, the bank for a changing world. Wilson, number one in tennis. Tennis Magazine, get exclusive coverage online at tennis.com. Yvonne Lindell's Champions Academy. For more information, visit champacademy.com. And by the BNP Paribas Showdown. Four legends, two epic rivalries, one night of tennis. Tickets on sale September 27th.